Welcome to our lecture online. Sometimes we turn the tables around when we do hypothesis testing. Sometimes we don't know much about the population. We're trying to infer some information about the population by taking a random sample. So the idea then becomes we take a sample, we get the mean of the sample, and then we ask the question, what can we infer about the population based upon what we found about the sample? So, well, let's see, what kind of things could we look about, uh, think about? Well, first of all, we can do what we call a point estimate. Since we don't know anything else, we have no idea what the population mean is, we can simply say, well, we're going to let the population mean equal the sample mean. Now, of course, from what we've seen in the previous videos in this set, that's not always a good idea because seldom does the sample mean equal the population mean. What we could, of course, estimate this or say is that it's probably close, probably, and the larger the sample size, the more likely it is to represent the, something close to the mean of the population, but in almost all cases, they're not going to be the same. We can simply say they might be somewhat close. At least it gives us some sort of idea about the population mean by saying, let's just call it equal to the sample mean. A better thing probably to do is to take what we call an interval estimate. Based upon the sample mean, we can assume that the population mean will fall somewhere between some range of values. Because, after all, the sample mean could be much less than the population mean, or it could have been quite a bit more than the population mean. So, we can probably say that it gives us a range of values that we can assume the population mean to be. So what we're going to do then is we're going to make an interval estimate. How big is that interval? Now, for example, we can think of it as saying, well, we can pick a number and then we can add a fraction of the mean and subtract a fraction of the mean and that will give us the interval. So sometimes the interval will be the mean, the population mean, plus or minus a fraction of the population mean, or we can simply add a unit. For example, if the mean is 10 kilometers, then we can say that's 10 kilometers plus 1 and 10 kilometers minus 1 as being the interval that we're trying to estimate or estimate. Then we want to also calculate the level of confidence that we have in that interval estimate. Do we have a large confidence level or a small confidence level? Well, obviously, the greater you make the interval estimate, the more confidence you have that the real value is somewhere in that estimate. The smaller you make your interval estimate, the less probability and the less confidence you have that you found the range that the population mean could fall into. And so therefore you can think of having a large confidence interval or a small confidence interval. The smaller you make the interval, well, the less chance you have that the real value will fall in that interval. So you have less confidence that you found the interval and if you make it larger, you have a greater confidence level that the actual value will fall somewhere in that interval level, or in that interval. So that's the basic principle that we're going to use to come up with the inference technique. We're going to take a sample, and we're going to try to infer something about the population. So that's what you're going to see in the videos to come. Hmm.